Hi everyone, I'm back today with another scrapbook layout. Um, I always get a lot of requests to make Disney themed uh, projects, especially scrapbook layouts. So I've decided what I would like to do is create a series of videos where I make different Disney themed scrapbook layouts. And my idea was to feature what I consider the classic Disney characters like Mickey Mouse and Minnie Mouse. And I would like to make enough scrapbook layouts that you could actually put together a whole album. Um, I want to make them pretty adaptable, not just geared towards a trip to Disneyland or Disney World, but more just focused on the characters. Whenever I make a themed album, I always like to start out with a cover page or title page. So that's what I'm going to be working on today. Uh, it'll be a single 12 by 12 scrapbook layout. I'm starting out with some designer paper for a recollections. This is just a red polka dot. It's cut at 6 inches by 11 and a quarter of an inch. I have some red striped paper also from recollections and it's cut at 11 and a quarter of an inch by 11 and a quarter of an inch. For my mats, I have this yellowish orange card yellowish orange cardstock. And it's cut at 11 and a half by 11 and a half inches, and then a piece of black 12 by 12. So first, I'm going to layer these two pieces together. And the polka dot paper is going to go at the top of the striped paper. And it's just going to go flush to the edge. Next, I have a border piece that I created. Um, I have this punch by American Girls, American Girl Crafts. Um, has the stars on it. I didn't find this in the regular section with um, where they have border punches. I found it in the kids section, um, but it's a really cute punch and it works well for the Disney layouts. So I just punched some of this uh, yellow cardstock with stars and then I matted it onto some black cardstock to make it pop out a little bit more. So I'm going to add this right on the edge of my polka dot paper. Now I'm going to mat this on my yellow cardstock and then mat that on the black cardstock. Now I'm going to take a white gel pen and I'm going to go around the edges of my black and I'm just going to do a little doodle stitching on there.
Next, I have cut. I have this uh, Mickey Mickey ears. Um, this is actually a layer from a whole Mickey head. So it's cut at eight and a half inches. It's actually not eight, eight and a half inches. It's more like five inches. But I wanted just the top half because to me it looked like the little hats that you can buy at Disney World that look like Mickey ears. So I've just doodle stitched all the way around it. So I'm going to adhere it um, right on top of the border and then right in the center of the page. And I have the word Disney cut out in the Disney font. Um, and this was cut at one and a quarter of an inch. So I'm going to place it on here first, and then I'm going to take some liquid glue and glue it down. Like I said, I really wanted these layouts to be kind of adaptable. So if you had uh, taken a trip to Disney World or maybe uh, gone on a Disney cruise, this would work really well. You could even personalize it with, um, you know, put the word cruise on there as well or Disneyland, Disney World. Um, I think it would actually be really cute if you took a family trip there. You could put your family's last name in the Disney font. Um, but if you had a birthday party or something like that, you could just put happy birthday, maybe put the child's age on the ear. So you could, you know, you could use this for a lot of different things. Kind of customize it for whatever your album is going to be about. Or maybe even if you're just going to have... Um, pictures of your child, you could put your child's name in the Disney font, that would be really cute. And I also have, I'm going to add the year, 2012. Um, these numbers were cut from the Robots Cricut cartridge. Um, I don't have, I have the Mickey and Friends cartridge, which has the characters, but I don't have the Mickey font cartridge. But to me, this font uh, works really well with the Disney theme. And like I said, you know, if you didn't take a trip or something, you could always leave this part off or... It would be cute to put like Disney and then put your family name up here. So there's a lot you could you could do to alter this layout. And these were cut at um, one inch.
going to put together my photo mat. I have a shape that I cut from the Elegant Edges cartridge. It's sort of um, a stamp shape. And I use my gypsy to alter it because it's not a perfect square on um, how it is on the cartridge. So I used my gypsy to alter the proportions. So I made each side five and a quarter of an inch by five and a quarter of an inch. That way it would be a perfect square. I have this uh, Mickey Mouse paper. This is also by Recollections, and EK Success also makes a pattern that's identical to this. So this is cut at four, four inches by four inches. I have a red mat that is cut four and a quarter by four and a quarter, and then the yellowish cardstock, and that's cut at four and a half by four and a half. So I'm just going to layer these together. I'm going to adhere this right in the center of my bottom portion of the layout. And finally, I have my Disney characters. I have Mickey and Minnie Mouse. And they were cut at five and a half inches each. And I have an imagine, so I can actually take and uh, use our, uh, the RGB codes to create whatever color I want. So I actually looked up online. There are some resources where you can find the actual Disney colors so that you can get the skin tone just right. Um, and it has, it has lists for each of the Disney characters. Like Minnie Mouse, it has her dress and her shoes, which are typically they're pink and blue, but I wanted to, to match the layout, so I gave her the Mickey colors. But I'll put a link to the code that I found down below. Um, you can use regular cardstock if you don't have an Imagine. Um, there's some good flesh tone cardstock out there. So I'm just going to pop these up on foam. And I also found that when I was cutting these, um, I cut them on my Imagine. Um, but I, I'm pretty sure that the settings would be the same on like a Cricut Expression or a, a Cricut Personal Cutter. Um, I set my blade at 6, and then I did my speed and my pressure at 4. And that cut them really well without having uh, any ripping or tearing. Every once in a while I had to cut something a second time, but that was when I was working with, you know, even, even smaller characters, so it worked pretty well for me.
And now I'm going to use some liquid glue. And I'm going to adhere my characters right on the edge of my photo mat. there we go. That is the first page in our Disney album. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. And um, if you have any requests for which characters you'd like to see next, I have some already planned out. But, you know, I'm always open to suggestions and requests. So let me know. And I hope you guys have a great day. Bye.